Taking a live look at Darrell K. Royal Memorial Stadium on this Friday. Earlier this week, UT officials made the announcement they're making some changes in response to demands from many student athletes regarding racial injustice on campus. Some of the changes include a multi-million dollar investment from athletics revenue to recruit, attract, re attract, retain, and support black students. But that's not all. Let's connect the dots. Out with the old, in with the new. Name. UT changing the name of Joe Jamail Field inside of the stadium to honor UT's Heisman Trophy winner. Earl Campbell breaks again for 28 yards and a touchdown. And Ricky Williams. You know those two names, two of the best college football players ever. Jamail Field will now be called the Earl Campbell Ricky Williams Field. Williams set the NCAA rushing record at UT, won the Heisman Trophy in 1998. Earl Campbell was a Heisman Trophy winner in 1977. He led the nation in rushing that year with over 1,700 yards. The university will also build a new statue to honor Julius Whittier. For those who don't know, Whittier was the first African-American letterman for the University of Texas football team. Played for UT from 1970 to 1972. The school also plans to honor the first African-American undergraduates at UT as well. They'll get a new monument on the campus's East Mall. One thing not changing, the eyes of Texas as the school song. A lot of athletes claiming the song has racist ties. Well, interim president Jay Hartzell doesn't disagree. He believes, though, the community can reclaim and redefine the alma mater so it's something to celebrate. No matter what, one thing is for sure. UT Austin is committed to making tangible changes to make campus a more equal place so everyone can be proud to say, hook them horn. Welcome. How about that? You know what? Good. Good for them, mm -hmm. I say.